Among the fishermen here in southern Louisiana, there is deep frustration. Since the spill, they've only had a few days of fishing before the oil slick closed down their livelihoods. They should have called and contacted the fishermen as soon as they knew the spill was taking place to have us on standby. After days of watching Coast Guard and BP ships try and fail to contain the spill, this lady wants one. hundreds of local fishermen signed up to lend their knowledge of the local waters to the effort. Waylon Burris is a shrimper. They bring in a lot of outside people that's never even been here before and don't know the waters as well as we do. The fishermen are hoping to get hired and paid by BP. They received some training in how to clean up oil spills. Now they're waiting. And they haven't called you? No. Some fishermen have been helping to set out the bright orange booms that are supposed to contain the spill. But the weather has been hampering their efforts. The oil is a thin sheen on the surface of the Gulf waters, about the thickness of a couple of nickels in some spots. The goal is to skim it off by laying out more booms in a triangular formation between one large ship and two smaller boats. So far, about a million gallons have been skimmed off. Aircraft are playing a role too, spraying dispersant, a chemical used to break up the oil on the huge slick that's floating in the Gulf. But so far, few shrimpers have a role to play. Out of more than 100 shrimp boats in this Venice marina, fishermen here say only one has been hired for the cleanup. The spill couldn't have come at a worse time for Kip Marquis at the very beginning of the seven-month-long shrimping season. This is your one shot at work this season. That's absolutely correct. Other than this, we have no work. And there might be one piece of good news out of all of this today, and that's an experimental procedure used to get a chemical dispersant some 5,000 feet down to the leak itself. They use a remotely operated vehicle to do so. And in its first test, BP says it actually stopped some of the oil from reaching the surface. Jeff? Michelle Miller, also in Louisiana tonight. Michelle, thank you.